Hi everyone. Today I am going to tell you a story about two brave children whose names are Tenek and Changun. The name of the story is the Crystal Cave. In this story, there are three main characters. One is Grandma, and second is Tenek, and third is Changun. These three are the main characters. Now the story begins like this. Let us get into the story. And now here, Grandma was one day she was preparing a broth, a soup. in a bowl on a fire so she uh, picked up a ladle full of broth ladle full of soup with this ladle with this spoon and she was blowing on the ladle so that it may get cool she blew on the ladle to cool the broth and asked the children to taste the broth and the children were eager to taste of that broth of that soup the children came closer to the grandma grandma told them to open their mouth and these tenyak and changun both opened their mouths afterwards grandma put the broth into the mouth of the two children the children enjoyed try to enjoy the broth but the broth was tasteless they said yak they expressed their dislike and told to grandma it is not at all tasty then grandma smiled and she took a bowl of salt and she took picked up little salt and put into the into the bowl of that soup and she stirred the soup as she stirred the soup she mixed the soup she was singing a ballad ballad is a poem nicely she was singing and mixing the soup afterwards again she called the kids children tenek and changun and told them to she told them to taste the soup again both of them tasted the soup now this time the soup was delicious and they told to grandma and it is very tasty and then grandma told them isn't it a magic how oh, what caused this miracle in before it was tasteless now it is tasty now the children chorus they sit together grandma it is because of the salt the broth was broth was tasty before it was not tasty now it is tasty because of the salt salt is more precious than anything even it is precious than gold these kids and even grandma said so salt is very important in curry to prepare any soup to prepare and grandma told them to uh, grandma spread a mat she, this is the reed mat she uh, spread the mat and told them to eat the food and she uh, served the food steaming rice and even broth also she kept in their plates and they enjoyed the food after they enjoy she told to grandma told about their village about her village the richness of her village she told in olden days our village was very rich even we used to uh, cultivate paddy millets a jungle used to give shrubs ferns and we used to have even salt in our village grandma said when grandma said how did you get salt changan asked grandma said we have lot of salt in our village because a salt spring used to flow through our village we used to just get that spring of water from that spring and keep in a long trough and we dry this salt water under the sunlight and the water is to dry off only salt is to remain in this troughs because the grains of the uh, salt is to remain in this troughs we use it for our cooking for our um, food and even 
we used to have a lot of salt in our houses, excessive salt we used to have. Grandma said, when grandma said like that, then I had a question in his mind. You, grandma, you must have, you must be having lots of salt in your time because salt spring used to uh, flow through our village. Then yes, grandma said, we used to have a lot of salt in our village and we used to have excess salt in our houses. Even that salt, we used to sell it to other villages and uh, we used to just exchange goods and they used to give us their, uh, their clothes and we used to give our salt to them. So like that, we used to exchange uh, our necessities. So like that, we get uh, even Mm, our things done with this salt and then Changhun said yeah, there is no salt spring now and uh, grandma said yes we don't have a salt spring because uh, now because of uh, uh, that uh, we are going to other town and getting the salt uh, from Konsa Township, we are buying the salt and we are very sad to buy the salt uh, from the other place. Previously we used to have it, but now we are buying from other place. And uh, this Tenyak was asking, Grandma, did it dry up? And then Grandma said, yes, one monsoon, in a winter, in a winter season. Once uh, the salt spring dried up. Why did it dry up, Grandma? Again, Tenyak asked. Then Grandma said, Because uh, there, in that uh, uh, place, why it dried up, we don't know. Even people tried to know it, but they could not find why it dried up. Now, and uh, later that afternoon, these two children wanted to find from where the salt spring is reaching to the river and from why the salt spring dried up, they wanted to find out. These two kids, now we will see the bravery of these two kids, how they found the salt spring. That afternoon, they searched the spring's route and they found the furrow at the place where the salt spring and now it was covered with so many uh, stones, sand and ferns, shrubs, all the trees grown from that canal, from that stream, spring. And now afterwards, next day, they started their journey. They took uh, all the water, all the necessities uh, for, for eating and drinking. They started their journey to find out from where the salt spring comes and now they started going up and up upstream they went to find the salt springs origin they went to the cave they found a big cave from that big cave the salt spring used to come but because the spring was stopped because of so many trees and so much things they blocked the spring to come they went to that cave, they went inside, there were lots of salt is there. They found that one, after seeing that salt in that cave, they just took little salt and they tasted and it was so salty. They screamed like, the, like anything, oh, they said and they were excitedly they danced, they sang, they, they sang songs, even uh, they just crooned, they hummed songs, they came back with the salt in there. Uh, they had strapped uh, some of the things on their back, like bags, and they filled with the salt and they brought those things to the, uh, the salt they brought to the village and given the salt to the villagers and to their uh, family members. They were so happy seeing their children bringing the salt and again now actually it was a poor village and now they will get back the riches because if they get this salt spring again to their village again that village will become rich now because of these two kids and now all the villagers praised these two children for their bravery 
uh, act and even grandma uh, was singing song for them for their career and the chief of the village and uh, took this tenyak on his shoulders and said it is a great work done by these two kids and they were so happy and everybody praised these two kids for their acts so in this way and we can see that here and in the middle of the way when they were searching for uh, salt uh, cave and they found even elephants and even pythons in the middle of the they were they escaped from them they knew how to um, escape from the dangers of these wild animals finally they found so this is a story i hope everybody understood so in this way you also try to make a video